This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Very happy to have Joe Kikos, founder of Little Guy Trailer, on the channel today. He's gonna give us a tour of this lightweight travel trailer that's got a queen size bed in the back, a full shower, bathroom, everything in this small footprint, and it's called the Mini Max. So join us for the tour. Hi, my name is Joe Kikos. I'm with Extreme Outdoors, and I am the founder of the Little Guy brand of trailers. I'm very, very excited to be here with Patrick today to talk to you about our Little Guy Mini Max FX. It's the newest re-engineered model of the Mini Max. We're calling it the FX because it has a flexible sleeping area, which we're very excited about, and has some really cool upgrades from our older models. But first of all, we're looking at a 17-foot trailer it's about 2,300 pounds, six foot wide. This does have the off-road package on it, so it does sit up a little bit. But you know, for those crew out there that have a Jeep Wrangler or a Subaru being 2,300 pounds, it works. And there's a whole lot of here to talk about, so I think we'll start right here. All four corners, we have stabilizer jacks. So you crank those things down and you get to your campsite so it keeps you nice and stable, so you have those on each side. We have a uh, really nice sized door here. It's very, very large. And why is it so big? Because we got a humongous fridge in here. And people like big refrigerators. So that's one of the reasons why we've done that. So I'll open this up here. And you can just see how big the entry is, how big that door is. We've gone with aluminum steps here so you don't get rust. We have a two by three tubular steel frame underneath this. So it's built on a very, very, very strong frame. We even use our sidewalls, they're all Asdale, and you can see the foam block insulation in there with our aluminum sidewalls. We'll talk a little bit about later on. But out here, you've got your, your lit door handle, so you can find your way in there at night. We got your HDMI and your cable plug here for power. We also have two speakers, one here and one here. And this mount right here is for the TV. So we do have a TV on the inside. You can hang it out here on the outside. And that way you can watch your, your football games or tailgate. You can plug in to your power here with the USB ports. And here's a real big window, which I'm gonna talk more about these later, but see how big these are and how wide they open. Down here is your low pressure propane line. So if you wanna cook outside, while you're tailgating with the radio on. You can hook in your stove here. We have this Keter rail system here, which a lot of people don't know what this is, but you have this, this black channel in here. This, it's rubber, actually. And you pull the screws out here and here, and this piece will actually come out of here. And we have aftermarket screens, visors, and an actual tent, a 10 by 10 tent that you can put on here with the sewn in floor. And it really makes a trailer. And guess what that does? It allows you to triple your living space, but it doesn't affect the weight. So now you still can have that Subaru or that Jeep Wrangler and really open this thing up. And we have that railing system on both sides. Here is the pass-through storage. And we use magnetic latches up here so you don't rip things out of the sidewall. Kind of magnetic slam latch storage all the way through and we have a light inside here as well so you can see what you're doing in the older versions we didn't have pass-through storage underneath we have our spare tire there's a frame again we talked about a little bit earlier there's your fresh water 20 gallon holding tank as well we also have heat and air conditioning and this is a propane furnace that we have here that's the outlet for the furnace there and you can listen to this shut it's like shutting the back of a mercedes trunk so you don't get leakage in there. Coming around the back, we have, again, here's your stabilizer jacks, a two by two receiver. If you wanna haul bikes or an optional carry, carry, carrying cargo bin, this is standard on all of our units. So it's nice to know that that's all welded in there. Very large rear window. And again, you know, I'm gonna open this up. We'll go inside, talk some more about that later, but you got the screens, the blinds. It's about an inch thickness here. What does that mean? Well, it's, it's quiet, it's cool. You don't get condensation, which means you don't have water. Nobody wants water in a camper. So we use these really, really nice high-end windows. This here is all, it's all one piece. 
it's all Asdale fiberglass. There's no seams at all from the top all the way to the bottom. It's all one piece. Why is that nice? We don't get leaks. So we have that there. Actually behind here, if I could peel this off, you'd see two by two aluminum. It's aluminum caged. It gets the white, the weight, get it very, very light. Cost a few more bucks, but you get what you pay for. We also have 100 watt solar panel up there, which is an option. We have the air conditioner, which is standard on this. Come around this side over here. You got your same thing. You have your pass through storage with a magnetic latch here. It shuts. Down here is your low, low point drains. This is your fresh water where you 20, have 20 gallons of fresh water. You fill that up. There's your drains. This here is your Dometic heater. There. We also have your 30 amp external uh, power outlet here. And what we've done also is we put a light here as well. So there's a lot going on, on this side. You had your 30 amp power. So if you come into a campground at night and you got to plug in, well, you got a light here. Thought of everything. So you plug in there. You have external shower here with hot water. Extra, so you want to put a solar panel, more solar panels. We have the exterior jack there for it. This here is for your cable. If you go into a cable uh, campground, you want a cable to feed the TV, you plug it in right there. And down here is your, your black tanks, your gray water tanks, and your valves. Now, one thing we did also on the upgrade of the FX model, 25 uh, black, 30 gray, and 20 fresh. We really upgraded the holding tanks, which means we redesigned the frame to hold those tanks. So that's a big upgrade on this. And you'll notice on this particular model, we have the Rough Rider package. So we actually have the bigger tires and wheels and a three inch lift. So look at all that ground clearance you get when you put the Rough Rider package on this model. If you come around here to the front, you know, we have the front storage box here. Now what's in here, it houses, now this particular one, we have our Renergy, a lithium battery, 100 amp hour lithium battery. It also holds your propane. And you actually have room for two batteries and a propane. So you have plenty of storage up front with this front tub here. That's how you lock it down. Also, you have this here to plug in your four, your seven way so it doesn't drag in the dirt. That's standard on the model here. You've got your two inch ball with your, your connector, safety change, your breakaway switch. Before we head inside, I wanna come around here and talk to you about something that's kind of important with, with our particular brand of product, the little guy. I call it the four W's. Kind of makes us stand out a little bit, if I, if I could say. Number one is the woodworking. It's the first W. We use hardwood, maple wood, but we also use dovetail construction. So our cabinetry is almost like a residential. It's not a glued and screwed type cabinetry. It's a very high-end woodwork in all of our models. Windows is a second W. This has got lots of them in it. I'm gonna pinch that right there. Again, dual panel, acrylic, insulated windows with embedded screens. And you have the embedded blinds all here. And again, it keeps it cool, keeps it uh, warm, cute, cool, quiet, and no condensation so you don't have any moisture. We, have, we build things on a radius. You can see how optically, how cool this camper looks. So a lot of these windows have to be made custom made for our product. So the other W would be the walls. You know, this is all Asdale construction. We use Asdale on the sides, on the top. We even use Asdale on the inside. Basically, it's a synthetic composite. It's a green product. Uh, there's, it's much more higher R value. It, friendly to the environment. It just costs a few more dollars, but that's kind of what makes our product. We call it the Porsche of teardrops. It's very, very high quality. And the other W is the weight. We talked about that earlier. It's all aluminum caged. And aluminum is light, so it gets us in at 2,300 pounds, 17 foot, six foot wide, about 99 in the height. So you get a lot of camper for, a, for lightweight. So let's go inside and talk about a few things we can talk about as we come in here. Okay, so let me kind of give you a quick overview, lay of the land of the floor plan of this trailer here. 
you know, in the front we have we have your sink, we have your two burner stove here, we've got your shower, big shower, with a toilet, we've got a humongous refrigerator. Back here we have a sleeping area that you can have two twins, it converts into a queen, and we have all kinds of storage in the pantry over here, and the microwave, and the TV, so it's got a, a lot of things going on here. So this is kind of the overview of the different parts, now let's kind of digging a little bit deeper I guess. Let's start with the stove. It's a Dometic two burner propane stove. Plenty of space here. Very high end, very high quality and this collapses down which is nice because you can actually use it as counter space when you're not cooking on it. The sink, I'll pull this out here. We have a sink cover on here which allows you to store on top of that. But there's your really nice sink. It's almost like a residential type sink. Here. It's very functional, has a sprayer here to spray off the dishes. And then when you're not, you know, using the sink, you put this on here. Now you've got more counter space, which is really, really nice. You got your USB, your 12 volt, your 110 power stations, and you're gonna see a lot of that in this trailer. You have your front light here. Up here you got storage, storage, and storage, and of course. The windows, we're always talking about the windows. This all opens up. If you want to leave it open, you just crank that open and plenty of cross ventilation. Cabinetry, the wood. Hardwood maple. This is a nice drawer here to put your sponge. Down here, we can open this up. It's very deep and it's all made so that you can wipe it all down. Plenty of storage on here. This here is a silverware drawer. It's like us being in a house. See how much space you have here. Look at the woodwork, the dovetail construction. We take a lot of pride in our interiors with a little guy brand. More storage over here. We got our power cord there. So for this type of a trailer, first thing is like, wow, look at all of the storage. We have a lot back over here. We're gonna go over here in a minute. Your floor. We use a perform. It's called Performax 500. Is the floor? It's got a resin product in it, so it repels any kind of water and moisture. Here's your fire extinguisher. This is I call the mouse trap. You can take your shoes off and kick them underneath there. We call it the mouse hole for storage. More storage here, and I can even light this up. Look at all the storage down here. Here's your control panel. So your water heater, your electric, your lighted handle, your exterior lights, your interior lights, the water pump. This is kind of like the control center of the unit. And above here is your solar controller because this has the optional 100 watt solar panel on it. Here you have your exhaust fan to pull the air out and your shower. Now I'm a pretty big guy, I'm six foot two. But I can fit in here just fine. Come in here, plenty of room. I've got my shower head here, controls here, a little sink here. You want to put some water in there and utilize that. Also, you have an exhaust fan here as well. And then your toilet, it just goes right down into a black, black tank. The door, it's not your slide accordion door, it's your true glass door. It opens and closes. To keep it nice and cool, you have a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Trust me, it'll give you more air than you need, keep you cool. Fridge, I'm really excited about this. Fridge is propane fridge, so you can be off grid. Propane and 110, so when you're plugged in at the campground. But look at all that space. It's almost bigger than my fridge at the house, so Refrigerator, storage, storage, storage is great with the FX model. The fridge was an upgrade, the door, pass through storage, the holding tanks. Again, just have storage here. Every space that can be used for storage in this floor plan has been utilized for storage and you always need to have storage when you're camping. Okay, let's look, let's look on this side now. Here we have your cup holder, your stereo system, Again, more power is your 110, your 12 volt, your USB. It's like everywhere you look in this camper, you I mean you're always charging your cell phones, you always need power. So we put a lot of in here, it's been very well thought out. 
This cabinet here has a lot more storage in there with a light, which is really nice. And then we have up here, you have your microwave. Position that I love for cooking. As we come around this side, what's nice about this unit, first of all, it's so flexible. We have this really nice lagoon table here. So this, this area can be two twins or it can be a queen configuration. To make this into a, a queen bed, you put the table over here. This tabletop is going to come off and you're going to set it down here on these railings. And then the slats are over here. These come out and they fill in the differential. So these will come out, they'll lay in there, the table drops down, and then the cushions are going to slide over on top. And then you get your, your queen sleeping area. So also back here we have, we have your uh, thermostat there for the HVAC. We've got your speakers here, more storage here. Nice reading lights that you can just push on and push off, which is really nice. You have your switch for the lights, and down here we got your 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 carbon protector here. You got your uh, power converter here, and of course you've got the TV over here. We talked about that a little bit earlier, where this TV is mounted here, and you can take it off and mount it outside if you like. You've got another speaker. You've got your detector here, and you have more storage up here. And you've also my favorite thing. You've got this humongous window. I absolutely love this window. Pull the screens down, lay down. Look, we're at a beautiful campsite right now. It's just gorgeous. That's why you go camping, right? Is to be outside in the elements. And we have some more storage under here as well. So you pick this cushion up. See how it's insulated right there, which is kind of nice. You have more storage down there with a the light. And then we can open up this door. And you can access all the way back into here. So again, I've said it over and over like a broken record. Storage, storage, storage. But this has a ton of it. So to make it easier on our customers, we basically have one decor as far as the cabinets go and the cushions go. We do have different exterior graphic options. We do have a solar option, a Rough Rider package option, power jack, backup camera, uh, lithium, inverters. We got a lot. So. Our website is www.golittleguy.com. We've got about 120 dealerships across North America. You can find a local dealer at that website. Very, very um, knowledgeable dealer body. They can walk you through anything. But I would definitely start at our website, golittleguy.com. Now we have different uh, pricings on, on, this, on this package here. We have an eco version, which is around 25. If you get a model that's more loaded up, you're gonna be you know, 29, 95, 30,000. So we got quite a range. It just depends on what your budget is and what, what, what uh, whistles and bells you wanna have on it. Thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour of this awesome trailer. I'm happy that you were able to make it out to New Jersey to showcase your new model. And I like the fact that these are light enough weight that people with smaller SUVs could tow it. That seems to be the trend now. People are buying smaller vehicles, more fuel efficient vehicles, and you kind of nail that for them. And usually on these small trailers, some they have small refrigerators, they mm -hmm. don't have showers, they don't have toilets, and you have that as well. So excellent job. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so our viewers could pop over to your website and follow you guys and some of your social media. This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us.